Good morning and welcome to Tuesday Morning Prayer. And it's good to see that our dear sister Jan has joined us. And those who've not logged in, you're welcome. So let us just relax for a minute or two as we gather our thoughts. Maybe we've had a restless night or we may have some interior anxieties that may be leaving us feeling a little fractured this morning. So let us just take a deep breath and breathe in the love of the angel of joy and as you breathe out, just breathe out love. Love to the universe. And we begin by lighting a candle for the intentions of all gathered here and for global unity and peace. So let us just reflect on the flame, the flame of love divine love and as we invite invoke and call upon mother earth our beloved earth mother gaia mother mary our heavenly mother with the father mother god with the cosmic christ and with the spirit of god let us be still in our Tuesday morning prologue of our brother and sister Essenes, we read, we enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother God, the earthly mother and all the great masters, and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching, and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Tuesday morning we commune with the angel of joy saying angel of joy descend upon us and give beauty to all beings as you say this you reflect the angel of joy empowering you to observe and reflect upon yourself absorbing vibrations of joy from the beauties of nature, the colors of sunrise and sunset, the song of a bird and the aroma of flowers. So come with me now into the cathedral of God and embrace the whole of creation. And together let us sing the praises of God from a loving heart. Let us be still. In Psalm 64, it's a solemn thanksgiving psalm, and we read, To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows, you who hear our prayer. To you all flesh will come with its burden of guilt and sin too heavy for us our offenses but you wipe them away blessed is he whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts we are filled with the blessing of your house of your holy temple you keep your pledge with wonders O god our savior the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strengths. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of its peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with your joy and thus you provide for the earth you drench its furrows you level it soften it with showers you bless all its growth the hills are girded with joy the meadows covered with flocks and the valleys are decked with wheat 
They shout for joy. Yes, they sing and shout for joy. What is that sound saying to your heart on this Tuesday morning? Experience the gift of joy. A joy that comes when we surrender our heart, our fear, and all that bogs us down in our service to one another. Now this morning, before we went live, I was toying with the idea of whether to read this or not. But I was given the affirmation that I must read it. And the title of the reflection, Are You Selling Your Dream? Are you selling your dream? In Genesis 50 verse 20 we read, You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good. In the movie Up in the Air, actor George Clooney is hired by a major corporation to handle big layoffs. His job is to fire people. In the one scene when he's about to fire an aging middle manager, he notices on the man's CV that he had been trained as a French chef. As the man expresses despair over losing his job, Clooney reminds him of his original dream and asks him this soul-searching question. Back when you started, how much did it take to buy you away from your dream? At that pivotal moment, the middle manager thought back to the time he decided to settle for a steady pay packet in exchange for what he really wanted to do with his life. Are you doing that? Understand this, the day you were born, God had a track for you to run on and an assignment for you to fulfill. So the question must you must ask yourself is this, is the difficult situation I'm in right now a God-given opportunity for me to go back and fulfill the dream that God gave me in the first place. Looking back on the most painful chapter in his life, when he was betrayed by his family, Joseph said, you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good. His greatest loss led Joseph to the fulfillment of the dream God gave him in the beginning. Is that your story too? Are you realizing that you've settled for second best and now God's giving you a second chance? A chance to do the thing he put you in the world to do. My dear friends, please reflect on those words. For there is an important message, obviously, within that reflection that guided my heart to read it. And I ask myself, have I sold myself short today in God's service? Have I settled for second best by listening to my ego, by allowing my ego dictate and quench the dream of God? Or am I allowing others, family included, and well-meaning friends to squash the dream that God gave to you and me at our incarnation as a human being. Sadly, we live in a world where there is so much conflict and the emphasis today is to be big achievers, big pay packets, a state-of-the-art house and a state-of-the-art car on the main road and going not to the cheap holiday resorts, but going to the most expensive ones, all to do with show. I realize now in my own faith journey 
that what is relevant and what is important is that I make time to listen to the voice of God speak to my heart in silence, in quietude. For there are times when I even question, is this the life God wants me to live or is it my ego? I don't think it's my ego because my ego misses the trips abroad and running the retreats in Egypt where I met some amazing people and obviously courted their adulation. But today, today is a different story. It's about listening to the heart. It's about following the heart. And it's about embracing who you are as a child of God. Be still and know that God is with you. That the Lord God is with you in the detail and in the obstacles. And it's through facing the obstacles and asking for help and then surrendering the obstacle to God and allowing God resolve the obstacle. So let us be still and allow the Spirit of God with the angel of joy to come into our heart, into our life today and allow us sense the presence and the peace of God. Let's take a moment now to use the most precious gift that God has given to you and me, the gift of free will, the gift to choose to listen to God or listen to our ego. The choice is simply this, which path do you wish to follow? The path of blessedness, or the path of destruction. Let us say the Benedictus, the Canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and he has redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty savior in the house of David his servant, as he promised through his prophets from of old a savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all our enemies. So his love for our father is revealed and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our enemies, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence and as for you, little child, you too shall be called a prophet of God, the Most High. You too shall go before the Lord to make his ways known to those who are hurting in mind, in body and spirit. To make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of their sin and the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high, and he will give light to those who sit in darkness, and those who dwell in the shadow of death. He will guide them to the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We come now to our morning intercessions, and if there is anything troubling you, name it, bless it, release it to God in a mindset of gratitude, and just say the three-worded prayer, thank you, God. This morning I want to bring each one of you and I invite the Cosmic Christ to come into your heart and to touch you where you are at in your faith journey 
and replenish you with an abundance of joy, an abundance of love, and to fill you with God's peace today, and that nothing, however impractical or impossible it may seem to you, the moment you say, God, I hand you this issue, these problems, because you are God, and you can do great things for me if I'm willing to let go and allow you be God. Today I pray for the many souls who have sold their dreams, who've reneged on God's dream for their life, who've been caught up in the minutiae and their ego, and for those who've come to that 11th hour situation where they realize there is deep unhappiness and a lack of joy in their life, I pray today that the angel of joy will touch them and bring them back to their core values. For the many intentions that we have here, too many to mention, we ask God to touch each and every intention. But I would like to add, I pray for all the religious leaders today, especially His Holiness the Dalai Lama, who's recovering from illness, and for Pope Francis. I pray also for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the head of the Church of England here in the United Kingdom. I pray for all statespersons and politicians to act honorably and to work for the glory of God on earth. And with dear Jan, we pray for peace on earth and goodwill to all God's children. We pray today for an end to violence to women and young girls. We pray especially for those living in war zones where there is no peace and no joy. And we pray for the migrants in Europe and for the many, many thousands of refugees in the Middle East. And we give thanks to God for the gifts that you and I have already received from God's hands and for our abundance today, and for being able to enjoy the Cathedral of Life, the animal kingdom, the aroma of flowers, the song of a bird, and to embrace Brother Sun and Sister Moon. Let us gather all our thoughts and all those on our prayer list who need help today. And we remember dear sister Sue's son, James, who has taken to his bed with deep depression. And now we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give to each one of us here today our daily bread Forgive us our indiscretions. Lead us not astray, but protect us from the forces of negativity, despair, and evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And our concluding prayer is very simple. And you may wish to say it after me. Breathe on me, O breath of God. Fill me with life anew, that I might love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do. Breathe on Jan, O breath of God. Fill her with life anew, that she might love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do. Breathe on all gathered here, O breath of God. Fill us with life in you that we might love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do. 
So as we blow out this light, I blow the angel of joy into your life this morning. So go in peace to love and to serve your God, Goddess. Amen. Amen. Namaste, Shalom. Inshallah, Patset Bonum Om Shanti. Solo de Caritas. Salam Alaikum. Peace. Thank you for joining me this Tuesday morning, and I look forward to your company again soon. This evening at five o'clock, we have dear sister Elizabeth from Philadelphia, who will lead us in Vespers. But for now, take care, God bless you. And may the angel of joy be with you today and every day of your life. God bless. Thank you.